Hey you guys, what is up? It's Shandera and welcome back to the channel. Um, yellow shea butter really doesn't get the hype that it deserves compared to white shea butter. So I think it's time to give it a try and see what the yellow shea butter is working with. I've already cleansed my face, I have a serum on. Um, so now we're just going to get the shea butter. Um, I am going to use a little bit. This is how much I'm using. I think this is about a teaspoon. I know some of you guys are saying that's way too much but please remember I have a big head and I do live in a dry climate so I am just like melting it into my hand and this is what it looks like I want to show you guys so that is what it looks like and I'm just gonna smear it all over my face SPF the skinnies at least a little bit goes a long way you do not need a lot and it's the only sunscreen that I've been able to apply where I can use that much and just feel comfortable going out the house and still feel protected that's just my opinion um, since I've been using it this is what my face feels like it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel weighed down uh, my skin feels a little bit like it's greasy but not oily if you know what that means it just feels nice and slick like I look like a glazed donut. Y'all hit me to the glazed donut. <laughs> That's what I look like. So I come up here and she's already got it into the shea butter and it's practically new. It's like she mixed it with Play-Doh. <laughs> In my bed, you guys. And I went away for like five minutes. This is crazy. Like, <laughs> What did you do? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, <laughs> you can't believe you did this. Oh my God, you guys. This is literally, how does she? It's like she combined the Play-Doh with the shea butter. So no me, she is. Now I have to change the sheets. Oh my God, poor baby. <laughs> There's like this conspiracy theory going around that like yellow shea butter is fake. So you know my tinfoil hat started tingling and I had to investigate this a little bit to see is it really palm oil in it? Is it really fake? And I came up with some interesting information. I had to dig a lot because there's really not a lot of information out there. And really the way yellow shea butter is made and processed it's like some secret society on the internet. Like it's really weird if you try to look up like the origin. So let's talk about why shea butter is yellow. Um, it's because of the baratutu root. I hope I'm saying it right, baratutu root. When they're processing yellow shea butter, they add the bark of the root to the yellow shea butter. I think once they boil the nut and the shea butter, like the butter pops up, then after they take the butter out, they start processing it with the baratutu root, which is really popular in West Africa. That's that's where the root comes from and the origins of yellow shea butter. Now this is where the information gets really, really like secret society, tin foil hat tingling because I tried to Google like Barra Tutu root and the benefits of it, especially on the skin. And there's like no information out there, like none. I literally had to go to someone who's literally selling yellow shea butter to find this information. When it comes to the skin specifically, the Barra Tutu root or Barra Tutu, I really hope I'm saying it right. If I'm not, I'm really sorry. It's amazing to fight off um, infections when it comes to the skin. It's used as an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, which is amazing that they would add that to yellow shea butter. My skin is glowing, it's looking good. It hasn't been irritated or itchy and I actually use it at night as an occlusive. And when I wake up in the morning, I have like this amazing glow that I've never experienced with anything, even petroleum jelly or aqua for. So I know a lot of you guys are looking at my skin, looking at the patches. I know my skin looks a mess. That's just because I actually exfoliated my skin. I had some serious setbacks using uh, yellow shea butter. They weren't bad setbacks, they were minor. Um, so, 
<laughs> okay, so this is what happened. So normally what I've been doing with the shea butter is just like a normal skincare routine. Um, normally what I do with any other skincare routine. But I'm actually realizing with using shea butter as a moisturizer and almost sort of like an occlusive is that I have to exfoliate more often or like my skin will get a lot of blackheads, whiteheads. So that's why my skin looks like this because I actually just used an exfoliant. I'm going to get it for you guys so you guys can see which one I use. I was using the Good Molecules Exfoliating um, Rice Powder and I want to say this, it actually really did get a lot of the gunk I had on my face and almost really balanced my face out so probably that's why my skin looks like this. I'm kind of trying to stay away from chemical exfoliants. Um, I used them once and I didn't like how they reacted with the shea butter so I'm slowly staying away from them and just using physical exfoliants. I want to show you guys my latest skincare routine and what I'm doing because I had to do a lot of switching up with using shea butter because shea butter is giving me like really picky and bougie. <laughs> using retinol and using retinol with shea butter is the best thing that I've ever experienced in my life. Um, I've had so many issues with using retinol. I don't use it a lot. I live here in Arizona and dries my skin out. I actually probably my skin will look, you know, 10 times better than this if I actually use way more retinol. But I tend not to because it really dries my skin out. But what I've been no noticing lately is with shea butter, my skin doesn't dry out at night as well as in the daytime if I use retinol. And that's if I'm not leaving the house. Today is a special day. I'm not leaving the house today. And because I'm on camera with you guys talking about it, I decided to do it in the morning. But I really enjoy using shea butter with retinol. Honestly, using retinol and shea butter will probably cut your moisturizer bill down completely. You guys, this is actually one of the best ones we've ever did. Like my skin feels like a glazed donut. It is so soft and supple. It literally feels like Sonomi's skin when she was a newborn baby. Like just so soft it's like oh my god you guys there's no texture no nothing like I am shocked and it's been this way like this whole week like I I'm in love <laughs> you guys hear the dishwasher in the back I'm sorry if it's irritating you <laughs> like some issues with the yellow shea butter it is literally staining my pillowcases so you guys see like these yellow stains i know y'all see like the dirt please please don't don't judge me but if you can see there's like yellow stains up on the top of this oh my god this light isn't doing it justice but there's yellow stains on my little washcloth um <laughs> <laughs> yellow shea butter it almost like sort of stains the skin like turmeric um but like when i rub my face i don't see any, any staining but i have noticed it on my work clothes like when i get down to my neck and my work collar it does stain it yellow so what i'm doing now is like really rubbing it in really really well and using a little bit less because you guys know i get a little product happy so i start using way more than i should and I am warming it in my hands more often to like literally uh, allow the yellow tint to subside. I go to put my shea butter on, like do my routine, and look at this. The drama, every time, there's always drama in this house. I can't get away from it. Look, look at, what, what is this? <laughs> I just, these are little, how did she put gummy bears? How did she get gummy bears? There's literally three gummy bears and my shea butter he really likes to eat this shea butter it is so weird he get away from you for like five seconds 
and things like this happen. <laughs> oh, it's been really windy here in Arizona. Like the winds are like at, I would say about like, I don't want to exaggerate, but it's like 14 miles per hour. <laughs> It's, it's a really a lot of wind and when using the yellow shea butter I have not had a wind burn any flakiness on my skin like literally when I use any other type of moisturizers I always have to like lock it in with an occlusive that has not happened yet so here are my final thoughts I really love yellow shea butter. I like it better than white shea butter. I will be continuing to buy and use yellow shea butter all the time. However, if you like white shea butter or you're very fair skin, you may want to continue to stick with white shea butter because yellow shea butter can stain the skin. It stained a lot of my shirts, a lot of my clothes, as you guys seen in the video. It carries a very yellow tint. It's almost like turmeric and it can sort of stain your skin like that as well. The staining does go away, I do wanna mention that, but there were some shirts that I did wash and the yellow coloring didn't come out of it. So it does have a lot of staining issues. I love yellow shea butter so much. It doesn't really get the hype that it deserves. It needs way more hype because it really is a great product. That being said, you guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you thumbs up up this video make sure you're following me on all my social media sites i love you guys so much and i'll see you in our next video bye you guys Mwah.